Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Crankin' Boom ice cream. This month's a special flavor and- Small batch. Small batch club. So the special flavor is cookie butter. And this is the brown butter rum. Uh, the rum, brown butter rum was $12. The cookie butter was $10, and we bought both of these at, uh, they have two locations in Lexington. These are made in Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, they're not sealed, and that's, we don't mind trying them because we're getting them directly from where they're made. And uh, so you buy them uh, at one of their two shops. Mm -hmm. So the cookie butter, cookie butter ice cream. It says there is cookie butter, so the cookie butter is uh, speculoos. Um, let's see, what else? There's no description on the container. So I just have to... Most of their small batches and special flavors don't. No. So you just have to kind of get it where you can get it. Uh, it has uh, speculoos, cinnamon, nutmeg, uh, vanilla extract, uh, we're just gonna try it. Okay. Okay, and it looks just like a, um, like it, a it looks- Creamy, tan, tannish colored, uh, or cream colored ice cream. It's all smooth, there's no chunks, lumps. Uh, Layers. Like, no, there's nothing. It's just all, there we go. Yeah. It's just a very smooth ice cream. It almost looks like a coffee. Yes, it color. does, yeah. Definitely has that cookie butter flavor. They should make that all the time. Mm -hmm. That should be a standard flavor that they have all the time. That's good. That is absolutely wonderful. It is, there's no doubt about that, that that tastes just like a um, Lotus Biscoff mm -hmm. cookie. Yep. That's what that tastes like. Yeah, they probably used a little bit of that. Well, I don't know if they use that brand, but they they probably use the spread, if I had to guess, and put it in there. Mm -hmm. I could eat that mm -hmm. all day long. I could eat and eat and eat. The, the, it's just wonderful. And as much as I like <coughs> uh, chunks of cookie, like you think, oh, well, there could, they could have put chunks of lotus biscuit cookie. Yeah, they could have, but it doesn't need it mm -hmm. because... And I don't know if those would have survived anyway. They would have probably just gotten they would have gotten soggy. Mushy. <laughs> they would have gotten soggy. Yeah, this it, it doesn't need it. No, it's a part. You know of exactly it. what it is. Yes, it tastes just like Lowe's Biscoff, and it, the the flavor is very very strong. Mm -hmm. It's that is five out of five ice cream. Oh, yeah, it's very very good. It's delicious. You, I would get it again. If you like that Biscoff flavor, then mm -hmm. you'll love it. Um, Terrific. The um, I like it too that it's all just one flavor and it doesn't have the layers of whatever and all that stuff, which I'm expecting this one to have. Well, um, now if you, if this is the first time somebody's watched the video, some the, sometimes they're well. If you open that, we'll probably see it'll. It, usually it has a um, they they're really good, bad, whatever you want to call it. No, this one's mixed um, in too. Some of them do have layers, so they'll put like a if they had a pretzel crunch. They would put a layer of pretzels on the bottom, some ice cream, sometimes it's just plain vanilla, another layer of pretzels, some whatever ice cream, and then some more, a layer of pretzels on top. So it's not mixed in, it's just like right. layers. So you have to just be careful how you're eating it to make sure you get all of whatever that topping is. Um, I like it that it's just a single flavor and it doesn't have to, I don't have to worry about trying to get a layer get through in. layers, yeah. yeah it's trying to make sure I include in. the layer in the box. Yeah, you know? and yeah, so that, it's delicious. Yeah, it's so, all so this looks like it's all mixed in Which is too. good, I'm glad. Brown butter rum, and it says milk, cream, butter, sugar, brown sugar, Bacardi rum, uh, tapioca starch, vanilla extract. There's really okay. not much in that one, honestly. No, there's not. And this is very soft. Okay, how you put alcohol in something? It's... I did not lay this one out. I laid out the cookie butter to get kind of soft for about 10 minutes. I did not lay this one out. And this was soft at, at, their, at their shop. Yeah, and they're um, negative well. 20 degree freezer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so soft. Mm -hmm. I love that though. Mmm. 
It's what got are, little pieces in there. Yeah, what are those little pieces? Mm. They melt on your tongue, oh, though. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to look. I'll look at the ingredients again. Let me see. Can you read that? I think about here I can. Um, milk, cream, butter, sugar, brown sugar, non-fat dry milk, mm -hmm. Bacardi rum, water, tapioca starch, vanilla extract, locust bean gum, um, gar gum, and salt. So that must be just something in the frozen, the freezing process, making these little. It's like little flakes if you look at it. Mm -hmm. they, and, and you said gum, gum. It is kind of a little chew, but it's it so... It could be the tapioca starch, too. Mm -hmm. I don't know. No, it's not like it gets in the way. It's just, no. It just does add a little bit more. Like, it's not in this one. This one does not have that. No. These do. Yeah. Um, I like it. And they do. They they melt on your tongue, so it's not like they're hard or anything like that. Mm. It's just a different texture. I like that rum flavor. The rum is not like in your face rum cake kind of rum. It's it's but more, you do know it's oh it's a hundred percent rum. Yeah, but it's not like a harsh burn your throat kind of. No, thing. it's just really more for flavor. But if you know. don't like rum, oh you won't like you wouldn't rum. buy it. <laughs> you wouldn't you wouldn't get it anyway. Mm -hmm. That's not going to change your mind if you don't already like rum. It's not going to change your mind. Although it's a very sweet rum because mm -hmm. they use all that brown sugar. Um, and I am getting a, a lot of those like little. Yeah, flakes. whatever those little flakes are. Yeah, it's almost, uh, the texture is almost like a, it's um, like when you take a crayon and you sharpen it and you get, get the little, 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 little waxy pieces. pieces. That's what this feels like, but it's not in a bad way. It, yeah. it, it's really, it's actually really pleasurable to eat and chew. Um, but they do melt. So. I, yes, and I do love the rum. I, I, once again, five out of five. Yeah, it's very good. It just depends on what, what you're in the mood for. Um, I think they did an awesome job on that. Mm -hmm. um, and, but that cookie batter, again, awesome. It just very smooth. It just if you could, I would say uh, pick up both of these. Mm -hmm. Now, by the time this video comes out to you, these will probably be gone. But I'm telling you, that cookie batter needs to be around. All the time. That should be one of their staple flavors. It absolutely that should. They should sell that. Like they sell Crank and Boom and Whole Foods. That should be one of the flavors they sell in Whole Foods. And our local Whole Foods. I don't yes, know if they sell local, sorry, local Whole Foods. Yes. But um, they also sell on Gold Belly. They should that, sell that on that Gold Belly. That flavor should 100% be on Gold Belly. Yes, because I would tell you, you need, you absolutely have to get that. Mm -hmm. Well, um, that would be more of a draw that people would buy over some of the other ones they offer on Gold Belly, which are like, eh, you know, whatever. This, the cookie butter, it, because there's so many people that love the Lotus Biscoff spread and the cookies, and this is a really, really good representation of those without creamy. having to have any of the chunkiness in there. It's just a very creamy ice cream. So it's nice that it has that full flavor in that, that creamy ice cream. So how much was that one? I don't I didn't hear you. The, the price rum was. was twelve and okay. then the cookie butter was ten. But okay. I think we got a discount though on, okay. on the other one. Okay. So I think the regular price is like eleven or twelve dollars. Right. So um we try to tell you in the videos but the, if this is your first time watching the channel when you go, if you can actually go to one of their scoop shops in Lexington, if you buy what four? Yeah, you buy four in the like little freezer container. They, they give, give you a, you a container. Yeah. So every time you go in after that, if you're going to buy what four, four. Yeah, then they, you need to take that purple container yeah, they, with you. You get money off. And you get a discount. So that's how we got one for two dollars yeah. cheaper. But it adds up. Oh yeah, yeah. They. they 10, uh, 10 instead of 12 is always a good thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. But I would absolutely get either one of these yeah. again. And I don't know how much they are on Gold Belly. You know they're going to be more expensive. but Because Gold Belly, if you've never ordered from them, they, uh, they send everything on dry ice mm -hmm. and the stuff is frozen solid. Like you couldn't eat it right then if you wanted to because it's frozen so... You have to so leave it in the freezer overnight probably. Yeah, because it's frozen so hard. So just know if you are interested in ordering from Gold Belly, we have had very uh, good service from mm -hmm. them. So I will have a picture of these for you at the end and thanks for watching.